Have you ever struggled to get a client to articulate the event that triggered a painful emotion? Is this one? Mm -hmm. That's this one. Right. Do some of your clients have trouble verbalizing their feelings? Well, Leomi Rosenstiel, a PhD, is founder director of Day Spring Resources in New York City, a National Guild certified basic and advanced hypnotherapy trainer. She's also a certified instructor in Taoist inner technology and a Reiki master, I'm flattered. Dr. Rosenstiel integrates all these modalities into her practice and I'm going to let her explain the rest to us. May I introduce Dr. Rosenstiel. Thank you. Let's get this clipped on. Is this on? Okay. Looking for a clip here. Sorry about this noise. Ah, there it goes. Okay. How many of you are martial arts practitioners? Okay. Is this on? Is this... Everybody can hear? Okay. How many people are active hypnotherapists? Great. Uh, how many of you have done meditation? Wonderful. So you're going to understand a lot of what I have to say because a lot of it is common to many meditative systems, but its specific applications are very useful for hypnotherapy and for the practice of transmuting emotions. That is changing the quality of an emotion, not the amount of emotion, not just venting an emotion, but taking an amount of negative emotion and flipping it over, turning into its polar opposite so that if you have a negative emotion coming at you, even as a therapist, you can change that emotion so that if you're absorbing an emotion from someone and anybody who's worked with the public knows that this happens to people, someone will come into you and will say, something really nasty. They are in a rotten mood that day and they're giving it to you. And after they leave, you don't feel as great as you did when they walked in your door. There's a way of discharging that emotion, of changing that emotion, not just getting rid of it and dumping it on someone else, but it's like changing, uh, using a transformer to change the current from one type of current to another. So it's the same amount of energy, but it's changed in its function. I'll explain a little bit to you about where this idea came from. What I'm going to be talking about is the Chinese method of doing this, which is called Qi Kung, inner technology, the inner working of the energy that exists in the universe. The life force energy, the creative energy, the health energy, however you want to conceive of that, it's the balanced functioning of energy. And Qi Kung means energy discipline or breath discipline. Uh, you'll notice that when people are upset, when they're agitated, they breathe shallow and, shallow and rapid breaths. When they're relaxed, they tend to breathe more deeply, more slowly. And it is, in fact, a breath discipline as well as an energy discipline. And you learn to discipline yourself, and the energy in the Chinese concept of things flows outward from the person to other people so that it's like a ripple effect. You learn to discipline yourself first, and then people around you notice that things have changed, that somehow or other you are different. Whether they see that your aura is a different color, or whether they see that you don't respond as violently to stress, or whatever, however they perceive that difference, you will notice that people around you will notice a difference if you practice this methodology. They, in turn, will want to know why. 